Flutter, and Firebase. What's with all the hype and what are they? Well, to start, they are two of the most popular development frameworks available today. They both offer powerful tools that make cross-platform development a breeze. In this episode, we will take a look at some of the benefits of using Flutter and Firebase together and see how they can help you streamline your development process. One of the benefits of Flutter is that it allows you to develop for both iOS and Android with a single codebase. This means that you can save a lot of time and effort by not having to maintain two separate codebases. Firebase is also a great tool for cross-platform development, as it offers features like cloud storage and real-time database synchronization. By using Flutter and Firebase together, you can take advantage of the best features of both platforms. Another benefit of Flutter is its hot reload feature. This allows you to make changes to your code and see the results immediately without having to restart your application. This can be a huge time saver, especially when you are making iterative changes to your code. Flutter is a great language for beginners because it is very similar to JavaScript or Java. It also has a lot of documentation and community support. Star is easy to learn if you have experience with other languages such as the ones previously mentioned. Flutter allows you to write one code base and build for Android, iOS, Web, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even more. This means that you can reach the most people with your app without having to maintain separate code bases. A list of some of Flutter's features include but are not limited to the following. Flutter's mobile app SDK that allows you to develop high quality native apps for iOS and Android. Flutter is an open source project created by Google and allows you to build beautiful native apps in record time. It is fast and responsive, making it perfect for developing high performance apps. It is based on the Dart programming language, which is easy to learn, and Flutter apps are portable making them easy to deploy to multiple platforms. So, let's talk about Firebase. Firebase is a great platform for developing cross-platform applications. It provides a real-time database, user authentication, and static hosting. It's also easy to use and has excellent documentation. A list of Firebase features include, but are not limited to the following. Authentication, real-time database, cloud firestore, cloud functions, hosting, storage, and machine learning, just to name some of them. Each of these features can be used in conjunction with each other to create powerful cross-platform applications. For example, you could use Firebase authentication to log in a user and then use the real-time database to store data about that user. Flutter and Firebase are both great tools for cross-platform development. By using them together, you can take advantage of the best features of both platforms and streamline your development process. I love this core part of my tech stack because it feels new and elegant but also stable and flexible. If you are looking into accelerating these technologies to work fast and efficient, then check out Flutterflow at flutterflow.io. This platform seriously improves production time and provides incredible help through the app development process. So if you are new to Flutter or Firebase or cross-platform app development, or are experienced and want to speed up your time and reduce your project costs, I recommend researching Flutterflow more. Another great tool to use that I will be going over in the near future is Flutlab which is an IDE built for Flutter, not a replacement for VS Code or Android Studio, but does have its benefits. In conclusion, if you are looking for a way to save time and effort, then Flutter and Firebase are a great solution. This is not professional advice and just for entertainment purposes. Always consider the unique conditions that apply to your project. Do research and consult with professionals for any serious application development. Hope this was helpful for anyone interested. You can sign up for my newsletter at thirdeyesyborg.com. I roll videos out on my YouTube channel. I publish articles on my Medium profile, and I post podcast episodes on my Anchor feed. You can check us out on Instagram at the handle thirdeyesyborg. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for reading. Happy coding and stay tuned.